Hey y'all, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jaira. Welcome. If you've been here before, hey, welcome back. So today's video is going to be pretty short. Um, one of my subscribers asked if I would show how to edit items in Second Life. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, she had an issue with this particular mirror right here that I had in my London home. As you can see, the original size is pretty small. But the one that's inside my London home, I have it, you know, pretty big. It's a pretty big room there. Right? It's really cute. I have it on the floor. Um, so, yeah, this is the mirror. Um, keep in mind, to edit items on Second Life, whether it be jewelry, whether it be furniture, whatever it is, it has to be modifiable. And that is determined by the creator, y'all. So, this mirror is from North Oak. It's called the it's called the vintage mirror and it is modifiable um so we're gonna see how to stretch this mirror to make it big because as you see it's small so i wanted it to be big because i set it on the floor and yeah so if you right click right click on the item go to edit if you go to stretch and then in these things pop up these little colored small boxes pop up then you can stretch it um, with this mirror you can stretch it by each axis or you can stretch it as one whole print and what I mean by that is if I wanted to make it wider like this by the X axis or if I wanted to make it taller like this by the Z axis I could or if I wanted to make it a little thicker hold on if I wanted to make it a little thicker right here by the Y axis you can do that as well or, or you can stretch it by one prim like this stretch all sides at once like this yeah so that's basically how you do it um, when an item is modifiable you can also um, change the color of the item so say for instance if I wanted the part of the bezel part the bevel part of the yeah so say for instance I wanted part of the bevel part to be black I could right click and edit it select face click on the part that I want to change and if you go to the texture section under the color box you can change the color and I'm see I'm gonna make it darker like a, this color and see you can make it look like that that actually looks really good that actually is really nice um so yeah you can do it like that or whatever so when it comes to editing um furniture and stuff it's all the same y'all it's all the same so if i wanted to do this it's the same thing except for like with this pillow i can't stretch it by its axis i can only stretch it by one whole print see it doesn't give me the option to stretch the x y or z axis you know independently um so yeah but other than that whenever you're editing furniture it's all the same so yeah guys that is it for this video like i said it was going to be a quick video um i do have some new videos coming up for you guys so yeah stay tuned for those and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.